Mark, you post on LinkedIn a lot and you tell your stories, your wins and your struggles. So what tips you have for people who are not used to posting on LinkedIn and how can also job seekers benefit in posting uh, their, uh, their ideas? Yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, no doubt I, you know, I honestly think my podcast is where it is like in the top 100 because of LinkedIn. Um, you know, I could, we could probably do a separate podcast on this alone, but LinkedIn has easily brought me the most value out of any kind of like technology platform ever. Um, I've gotten my first big time guests on LinkedIn. I've gotten my first big time clients on LinkedIn. I've gotten my first big time like media and press features on LinkedIn. It's really just completely enabled me to open my life. And so, you know, how someone starts posting on LinkedIn, if they're not already like used to it, mm -hmm. um, you know, I remember, I remember when I started my podcast, I wasn't really posting on LinkedIn and somebody told me, Hey, you should start posting on LinkedIn every day. And so I tried to do that and I would just try to write some kind of an idea mm -hmm. or something that happened. And I did that for maybe like a week, but then I stopped mm -hmm. because I wasn't really, um, I wasn't really saying anything that had value. I wasn't really saying anything that had purpose. I was just kind of like saying the same stuff that everyone else says. And so from that, I kind of took a break uh, from posting on LinkedIn for a little bit. And I just tried to sort of like refine what am I actually doing mm -hmm. on this platform? And so I had to set an intention. My first intention was growing my podcast. Mm -hmm. And so what I would do is, and as an introvert, what I would do is I would post on LinkedIn just snippets of my podcast because I didn't really want to talk about myself. I felt like I didn't really have anything to say to people. I didn't have any ideas worth sharing. And so I just began to share like other people on my podcast. And, you know, even if you don't have a podcast, you know, maybe you can start your own series. You know, you don't have to necessarily make your own original content all the time. You know, you could read a book. Mm -hmm. And then say like, Hey, here's a summary or here are like the top five best points that I've gone from it. Yeah. And so for me, I think the real value prop for job seekers and also other people to use LinkedIn is, um, you know, if you are someone who is regularly sharing value in the industry that you want to be hired to, you're going to have job, uh, you're going to have recruiters come to you you're not necessarily going to be the one seeking that job. You know, let's say for example, um, you know, I'm in the project management industry, for example, I could sit on LinkedIn and send 50 recruiters, my resume, yeah. but the long-term strategy, the one that'll bring you the most value is imagine if you could become a top voice in your project management industry. You know, imagine if every day, you start to share whether it's your experiences, your lessons, mm -hmm. your failures in this project management industry. And then now everyone in this industry knows who you are. That skyrockets your credibility and your likelihood of getting hired, but more importantly for people to come to you. That's why honestly I post on LinkedIn. Like I don't, you know, I don't really message people. I don't, I don't reach out to people. A lot of these opportunities that have come to me have come to me yeah. through other people seeing my post yes. and then saying it. And so for me, as, a, as someone who's an introvert, I don't like asking people for anything. That's why I would rather just take the first shot and then just have people come to me. That's the best way to do it. So. And then, but you did the work. You know, you started small. You started posting here. It took time to reach where you are, right? It doesn't happen overnight. For sure. It takes a lot of time. And, and then, you know, sometimes, you know, I'll post something on LinkedIn today and nobody will see it. But then, you know, two hours later, I'll post again and like 50,000 people will see it. And so it's always just, you know, the ups and downs of life. The same thing happens on social media. But you're right. It definitely was not something I did overnight. I mean, I remember maybe like the first six months of me posting on LinkedIn, my yeah. posts would get like three likes, all of them. 
Yeah. And then it's the mindset, you know, and your intention, as you mentioned, that's also a key. What are what I'm bringing to the table, my values. Again, thank you for sharing that, Mark. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of posting online for job seekers or other people, please uh, leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Mark.